Hey guys, Color Out Camper Man Brian here. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about probably the most exciting and riveting, uh, can't roll my tongue, but yes, riveting uh, conversation in camping, and that is storage. And while it may not be the most exciting topic, at the end of the day, if you're going to own an RV, you are going to have to store said RV. Some people have the option of storing it at their house, and some people do not. So, in this video, I'm going to give you guys five pros and six cons of storing your camper at a storage facility. For us, for the last two years, we have stored our camper at a storage facility. It's a couple miles from our house, and it's worked out pretty good overall. Uh, before we moved into this house, our last two houses actually, we stored our campers at our house, and we loved it. When we moved into this house, our house wasn't really properly set up yet to have our camper. Where we wanted to put it, there was a bunch of trees, I had to move the fence out, and now that we've done that stuff and other renovations, we're now ready to be able to store it at our house. Whereas before, that wasn't as much of an option. But uh, our contract is up with our storage facility here in two months, and um, I figured this would be a great time to talk about the pros and cons of storage facilities. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first major pro of a storage unit is the security. A lot of storage units uh, like ours, it is 24 seven security. Uh, you can see with that too, as we're driving in, it's, a, it's a gated, it's an electronic gate. There's cameras, there's lights, and as you can see here uh, up ahead, someone even lives on the premise. So you literally have somebody here basically watching your stuff at all times. This person's job basically is to watch your stuff. So that is a huge pro because let's say you go on a vacation that does not include your RV or camper um, and you're storing it at your house, right? Like nobody's watching your your house at all times but here uh, somebody definitely is which is definitely great peace of mind uh, it's also behind a fence you can kind of see straight ahead barbed wire up top I mean this is this is a big fence it's anywhere from six to eight feet with barbed wire up top this place is definitely secure all right, so the second pro of storing your camper at a storage facility is the fact that when you go out camping, nobody knows. If you store your camper at your house, it is a dead giveaway when you're gone and out from your house because your camper isn't there. So when it's at a storage facility, it's not only safe, but uh, people also don't know when you're out on vacation. So the third pro is that uh, some storage facilities do have dump stations with water. Uh, for us, this has worked out great because sometimes when we go disperse camping or we go to campgrounds that don't have dump stations, obviously we're going to have to dump our tanks. Well, most places in town charge 10 bucks to dump. Here it's free and it's included with our storage fees. Um, it's also very nice because every time I've ever dumped here, there's never a line and there's no pressure, no rushing, nothing like that. I can hook things up. I can use my black tank flush. And uh, it, again, it's just very nice and convenient that I can do that here. All right. So now the fourth pro is the fact that we don't have to have this big old thing on the side of our house and it frees up a lot of space. Uh, besides that, our decals kind of look uh, not the greatest, and some might say our camper looks like a FEMA trailer. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so it is nice not to have it on our property, not taking up space, and uh, looking like a FEMA trailer. All right, so the fifth and final pro that I can think of here for storing your camper is the fact that uh, if you do need to do repairs and you're limited on space, uh, you have a nice area to where you can do repairs on your camper. Now, some storage facilities will not let you do this. Uh, ours is pretty good, and they will let you do some stuff. 
Uh, we've blown out our lines, so we've winterized our camper here before. The owners have been very nice about it. And you'll also notice, too, that our camper is on a level surface, which I'm going to be doing a video here coming up on aligning the camper and um, taking some measurements and stuff. And I need a nice flat surface, and I'm actually going to do that here at the storage facility because it is a nice level ground. And uh, at my house, it's not. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the cons. So the first con is that storage units have hours of operation. Um, now, some are pretty flexible uh, with the gate cone and stuff. Ours has gotten a lot better here to where it's 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. Before they had the electric gate, the owner would just manually open up the gate themselves in the morning around 7 to 8 a.m., and then she would lock it at night, which that was really inconvenient because there have been some times when I drove out here to pick up the camper and she hadn't opened up the gate yet. And I know my in-laws store their camper here and they had come by in the evening, uh, I think twice to drop their camper off and the gate was already locked. So hours of operation is definitely something to consider when storing your camper. So the second con is the accessibility to your camper. What I mean by that is, you know, when you go out on a camping trip, you take your camper back home, you unload it, and you take your camper back to the storage unit. I guarantee at one point in time, you're going to forget something in the camper. So you're going to have to drive back out to your storage facility and get that. I can't tell you how many times that's happened to us. Uh, or, you know, we store a lot of tools and stuff in here. Um, and sometimes I need that stuff. And it's always kind of a bummer to have to run out here like I am today <laughs> to grab, you know, the tools or stuff that you need. Uh, when it's right at your house, you can just hop outside. But when you store it somewhere, it's definitely a little bit more inconvenient. So the third con is your camper is out of sight and out of mind. So for us, we've been saying, I think, the last three months that we need to get out here and put our camper cover on. And as you can see, it is not on the camper. If this was stored at our house, we would say that for maybe about a week, then finally go out there and get it done. Um, I mean, shame on us for not doing this. It's kind of us being lazy. But again, when you don't see this thing every day, you're not really thinking about it. And because of that, too, a lot of maintenance things can kind of go by the wayside. And the other thing you need to consider is if you are going to store it somewhere, I do come by and check on this thing uh, as often as I can during the winter time because we've had problems with mice um, and one of our older campers getting ruined because of that. So, um, you know, when it's out of sight, out of mind, you don't check for rodents and stuff like that as well. The fourth con is kind of goes with the other one, but it's maintenance and upkeep. So stuff like this, uh, we also have some a uh, crack couple cracks on our frame, our awning needs to be replaced, our water heater element needs to be replaced, uh, we have the corner beads need to be replaced, certain maintenance stuff like that. When you store your camper at a storage facility, um, it's a lot more of a pain to go and get your camper, bring it back home, do the repair, than if it's just sitting at your, at your house. It's one less barrier to getting the job done if it's just already sitting there. Versus having to come out here and grab it and then take it back home. Alright, so the fifth con is the cost. This last year for our uh, pad here, for our 30 foot camper uh, with our tongue, including our tongue, uh, it was $430. Now we did get a discounted rate because we paid for the entire year. Um, if we were going to do it again this year, the rate was going to increase to $480 which is usually what storage units do. They do usually bump your price up every single year. Now, our storage facility, I think, is actually pretty reasonable. When we lived up in uh, Colorado Springs, the storage up there was pretty much double or even triple what we pay per month. Uh, a lot of places were easily 100 125 bucks a month for the same size pad that we get down here. Um, and usually, if you have a larger rig, a lot of storage facilities will charge you more. So storing a you know 20 foot camper as opposed to a 40 foot fifth wheel, the 40 foot fifth wheel is probably going to be a lot more for sure. Um, 
Now, not all storage units are, are created equal either. Um, you know, a lot of times your cheaper ones uh, probably aren't going to have some of the amenities or security measures that the nicer ones will have. They might ha have a, uh, a code, you know, electronic code at the front. Um, they might not have security cameras, security lights. They may not have someone living on the premise. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. Um, with that cost, you don't always want to go to the cheapest place. So the sixth con and the last one here is that just because you store your camper at a storage facility, that does not mean that it's 100% secure. And in fact, some storage facilities, when they make you sign a contract, they'll actually put in there that they don't guarantee that it's secure. Uh, my in-laws had their camper at another facility and there was an attempted break-in into their camper. And a couple other campers had gotten broken into uh, while they were there. And the thieves had cut through the chain link fence. And what the management company did to fix the fence was they zip tied the chain link. So that was at a much cheaper facility. This facility we've been very happy with. And it's much more secure than their place. All right, guys. Well, that does it for the pros and cons of storing your camper at a storage facility. If you guys have any pros or cons, please put them in the comments below. Um, overall, I would really say if you have the option to store your camper at your house, I would definitely recommend to do that. Um, it's so much more convenient. It's going to save you that monthly rental fee. And um, we just have enjoyed that a lot more than putting our camper at a storage facility for sure so uh, thanks again for uh, checking out this video here if you guys enjoyed it please throw me a thumbs up and like it and I look forward to seeing you in the next one Bye.